Hello guys and welcome to today's webinar. I am Pilar Newman. I'll be your host throughout this training. And uh, this is the how to create a profitable business selling on Amazon without losing a ton of time and money training. So if you've ever considered selling on Amazon, then today I'm going to teach you how to do just that. Now I want to introduce you to someone. Uh, this is Nick Graham. Right. He's one of my, my previous coaching students. So the last couple of years, I've been coaching Amazon sellers one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. And the last year, Nick was a new seller on Amazon. And his, his stats are pretty amazing. You know, he sent this over to me. Um, he, you know, he was, he was a classic situation, classic example of someone who took massive action um, and created results for him for himself. So when we were on one of our coaching calls, we found a product together that he had, you know, he had some interest in, in some interest in, and we were looking at it together and he decided to go with it. He just pulled the trigger and went with it. And he generated $30,000 in revenue on Amazon within his first 90 days of being an Amazon seller. And on top of that, he was able to make 30% profit margins, which is pretty darn good um, in the e-commerce world. So um, he didn't sit around on the sidelines wishing for change. He saw the opportunity that Amazon presented and he ran with it. So here's what he wrote on my Facebook, uh, my Facebook uh, page. He, you know, less than 30 days live and I've already matched my day job incredible. I mean, it, it really is incredible for someone to be able to do that if you really sit and think about it. So this is the type of opportunity that Amazon allows for you and I to achieve. So for anyone willing to put in the work, this is completely possible. And I have other examples of other students uh, who have also experienced similar successes on Amazon. Okay. So my promise to you, I'm going to show you the exact steps to creating a profitable business selling on Amazon without losing a ton of time and money. And by the end of today, you're going to have the blueprint to go ahead and get started as soon as you're done with watching this webinar in its entirety. Okay. So because I know that time with, uh, I know that time with your family or time for yourself is important to you. Um, and so is money. I'm going to respect that in this training webinar. Okay. I didn't put any fluff together. I put stuff together where you can take actionable results by the time that you're done watching this. Okay. So why is this different, right? So Here's a main reason why this is different in one quick sentence. This training is going to teach you how to make money on Amazon without losing the shirt off your back. All right. I mean, it really does come down to, to just that private label selling is, you know, um, is something that a lot of people are interested in doing and, um, they just don't know how to do it. And so this training is going to provide um, instruction on how to go about doing that without losing the shirt off your back. So if you have struggled with selling on Amazon before, um, or finding a profitable product to sell in the past, it's not your fault. You might've learned a different way than I'm going to teach you in this webinar. Um, this training is specifically for you. Um, or if you've also wanted to just start an Amazon business, you've been thinking about it, but you don't know where to start. Um, then this webinar is for you. Also, if you've been doing retail arbitrage in the past, online arbitrage, um, or if you've been doing wholesaling and, um, you just want to know a different way to sell on Amazon and make, you know, make, make a lot of money and make good profits then this training is for you. Okay. So the techniques shown here are going to guide you to some really great results. And then um, after today's webinar, you'll be able to understand how simple it is to really grow a profitable Amazon business. Now, if you stay until the end, if you watch the webinar, it's in, entire, in its entirety, I'm going to give you my Amazon product launch marketing funnel. It's a $297 value. I'm giving it to you for free. It's a plug and play marketing funnel. You put your product in info in with the template I'm going to give you. And then you just start selling your product. Okay. This is something I've shared 
um, with my private clients, I haven't shared this outside of, outside of them. Um, so this marketing funnel is going to help you get sales with your brand products as soon as you implement it. So um, the next thing I need you to do is I'm, I'm going to need your full attention here. Okay, I'm going to need you to turn off your cell phones, turn off Facebook. Um, I know that can be super distracting. Um, if you're serious about building a profitable and successful Amazon bu business, then the next 60 to 90 minutes are going to change your life. Okay. I, I thought about charging for this webinar. Honestly, I'm going to give you a lot of tidbits of information that other sellers don't want to give you. Um, so I could charge for this training and people would watch it, um, at, you know, and they'd watch it without distractions because they traded their hard earned money for this. But since I'm doing this training for free, I really am going to need you to honor your, um, your own commitment to learning these techniques and reserve the time to watch this right now. So who the heck am I anyways? So I'm Pilar Newman, right? I've, I've sold millions of dollars worth of products on Amazon over nine years. I'm a multi six figure yearly Amazon earner. Last year I was invited to, um, I was invited to guest to Amazon's 2016 Women's Entrepreneur Conference at their headquarter offices in Seattle, Washington. So, you know, I, I'm telling you this because I want you to know that I know my stuff. <laughs> this isn't just some random person telling you how to sell on Amazon. Um, I've been at it for nine years. I've been featured on multiple e-commerce podcasts and Amazon related um, podcasts and e-commerce sites such as web retailer, niche product, uh, niche pursuits, private label uh, podcasts, Launch Grow Joy with Andrea Ayers, um, China and Portal. And there's a bunch more. Just recently, actually, I um, I posted uh, uh, one that I had been featured on a Better Lemonade stand. So, as you can see, I'm regarded as an expert in my field. In my field, right? It, but this doesn't mean that I know every single feature and every single button that there is to know on Amazon. Because honestly, I don't. You know, there's tons of other people who'll be like, oh yes, go to the back end of Amazon. I'm going to show you this function or that function. Hey, I don't know how to do every single function and that's okay. It, 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 what, when I say, and when people regard me as an expert in my field, what it really means, and this is really important. This is a really important distinction to know. It means that I know how to leverage the platform to get sales and to make an income. Okay. I know the important pieces about Amazon in order to leverage that information to create a full-time income for myself. So it's very important to understand. So eventually people started, you know, asking me, Hey, you know, you've been making money on Amazon. How do I go about making money on my, you know, how do I do that as well? Right. People wanted to, to start doing this as well. So I started coaching individual sellers. Um, I've been doing that you know, at a very hefty price point to tell you the truth, because it, there's a lot of knowledge after nine years. So, you know, I charge for that service. Um, and then later on, I went ahead and I created a self-study program, Amazon training called the FBA Profit Factory course. Um, I, I tell you all this again, not to boast, um, but to show you that I know what I'm talking about. I, I'm a qualified person to teach you this stuff. Um, I'm not pulling these techniques out of my new, you know what, I'm actually in the trenches of selling on Amazon. So let me give you an example of uh, my work that I'm very well known, known for. I've talked about this example many times. I'm going to do a real just kind of short glance over this. I've talked about it so much. I'm, you can look this up, but the 500 K in three short months. So, you know, um, I, I'm pretty good at you know, after nine years, I've gotten pretty good at learning what products to sell on Amazon. I've, I've learned how to find more opportunities within Amazon as the years have gone by. And I've come up with these core, this core foundation, this core system that no matter how Amazon changes throughout the years, it's, it's really been the basis for how I choose products and how I go about selling on Amazon. All right. So back in 2013, there was a very hot trend going on. Um, you know, it was starting to gain a lot of attention and I, I came up with my own products to sell alongside this. I put it on Amazon and with barely no advertisement, my products started selling out. Okay. I was able to leverage techniques that I've learned over these, those over these years to get tons of Amazon customers to purchase my products. And 
you know, that comes with just years of knowledge, guys. And this is what um, I'm going to give you a piece of what I've learned over nine years. Um, and then I'll tell you a little bit later on about how you can go ahead and getting more information um, about how to really start, grow and scale your Amazon business. So, um, you know, this is a screenshot of the back end of my Amazon uh, where I did the 500K in the three months. And again, it was it was just kind of, you know, seeing an opportunity, capitalizing on it. Um, you know, I don't have, or at that time I should say, I don't, I didn't have an outside website. I didn't know how to bring traffic to a, a storefront. But what I did know was that Amazon has a lot of buyer traffic. There's tons of people buying on Amazon. And I learned how to leverage that platform in order to generate $500,000 worth of sales in three short months. So I, I'm no one special, honestly, and I'm going to, I'm going to tell you why it's, it's, it's this whole slide set, but, um, I'm no one special unless, unless you ask my mom, of course, right? Because if you ask my mom, yes, I'm her baby. I'm special. All right. But, um, I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth. I, I didn't grow up with like special skills or a high IQ. None of that. As a matter of fact, you know, I've always, you know, growing up, I've always thought I was dumb. It's kind of, you know, interesting how the mind works. And it is sometimes we are so overly critical of ourselves and what we're able to do and what we're able to accomplish. But I'm a Boston girl. I grew up in a rough neighborhood of Dorchester. Uh, it's a borough of Boston. And uh, my parents are both immigrants. You know, they worked really hard. One was a janitor, one was an assembly worker. They did that pretty much for their entire lives of living here in the U.S., you know, minus a couple of side jobs that most of the times they had to get as a housekeeper um, or a cleaner somewhere. Um, and the highest level of education that both of my parents had w was grade school. I mean, that was it. You know, one came from Ecuador, the other one came from Honduras. They met here um, in the States at one of their cleaning jobs, fell in love, got married, and they did their best to be, um, you know, to raise us right. And, uh, you know, they've, they always just made enough to put enough food on the table for us and close our nut back. So I've worked crazy amounts of jobs. Um, I, I've done call centers where I've had to make 160 calls a day um, in order to get just two meetings so that my outside sales rep can go in and try to make a sale, right? Those are crazy odds. Um, I painted houses in the summer, painted houses in the summer, excuse me. I worked at a pizza shop, you know, kitchen prep help, book sales representative. Actually, that was my last job. I was selling books to schools. I was a book, I was working with a book distributor. But um, the only difference that I can tell you that I had compared to everyone else around me was that I had an immense desire for change, right? I was tired of seeing my mom work countless hours to just barely have enough to feed us and put clothes on our back. I mean, it's not fun to watch that and you feel helpless. So I put something out in the universe of what I wanted and I made it happen with no excuses. And guess what? It worked. And the only reason it worked is because I had more hustle in me than anyone else around you. It had very little to do with the skills that I had because skills can be learned. Hustle is not something that I can teach someone. You know, how do you teach someone how to work hard when they just want to go ahead and relax and watch TV? I can't force someone to go and work hard. All right. So imagine what your life will be like if you're running an Amazon business and suddenly finances are no longer a worry to you. Time is plentiful and you can use it however, which way you want, right? You are no longer stuck nor confined to a dead end nine to five job that you absolutely hate and dread waking up and going to. I remember that feeling. I remember dreading going to my job, but I was helpless because I had no other option. I needed to pay the bills. I had to go to that nine to five job every morning. So what would these things, you know, how would these things make a difference in your life in your business or your family? Right? Well, I'll tell you, you know, what it did for me and my family. This is me in Thailand. This is me in the Maldives. This is me in Paris. This is even me backstage with Alicia Keys at the Girl on Fire tour in Georgia. Now, I'm a huge Alicia Keys fan. 
This was a dream come true to me for me to be able to pay a ticket to do the meet and greet with Alicia Keys. And I got to tell you that night, she even gave me um, a shout out, a birthday shout out at the concert. I had requested that during the meet and greet. I had told her how much of a fan I am of hers and all this and that. And, you know, I, this has all been because of this Amazon FBA business. And this is what I'm going to teach you because I did not start off with all these skills. I did not start off with all this money, but I barely had any money to start my Amazon business. As a matter of fact, you know, there were days that I really had no money to even go through a McDonald's drive through to buy myself a cheeseburger or French fries, but I still did it. All right. I've made no excuses. And now this is the life I live. Now I'm in, you know, I live in a high rise in Boston, Massachusetts. I continue to travel. I teach people now. Um, it, it's, it's great. And all because I hustled and all because of hard work. So the biggest, uh, the biggest, um, accomplishment too. And the biggest thing that I'm so proud of is last year I was able to take my mom back to her country of Ecuador after nearly 26 years of her being away. All expenses paid for two weeks. She was able to visit her old, um, her old neighborhood in Ecuador where she grew up. And that meant a lot to both her and I. All right. So it wasn't always this way. Now I'm going to, I'm going to tell you something. When I started Amazon nine years ago, we didn't have uh, the programs that are available to you guys today. Because back when I started, yo, I was making tons of money, but suddenly I had no life. I had no life. Why? I was growing my business so rapidly, selling items on Amazon, making all this money, but now I had to go ahead and package all my products. I had to hire people that, that would come over to my house that would help me package these products and, and then send them to the UPS or the USPS store um, and then you know get them shipped out. I mean, what's, what, what is, what's the fun of making all this money but not being able to enjoy it? Fulfillment by Amazon to the rescue. And this is where you guys are so lucky to be able to see this opportunity um, in today's, you know, in the 2017 today's time. All right. A Amazon created a program for sellers to sell their items where Amazon would handle all the shipping and customer service on your behalf. So all you have to do now, as of right now, is find the right product to sell. Uh, work the Amazon, uh, leverage the Amazon platform with some of the tips that I'm going to give you. And then Amazon will go ahead and take care of all your orders, ship them out to your customers. I mean, it's been a great, um, it's been a great change. And this is actually what's allowed me to go ahead and travel and see things as much as I do, because suddenly I'm able to pick up, grab my laptop, sell from anywhere in the world, because I know that Amazon is taking care of my customers and my shipments. So this is basically the way that the Amazon FBA model works. I'm not going to go over it um, in depth here, um, but you know, basically you send inventory over to Amazon, you, they receive and store it. They offer customer service on your product. So if someone, you know, has a question about your product or whatnot, or they need to do a return for whatever reason, Amazon will go ahead and, and, and take care of that for you. You have a lot of time now to spend however, which way you want to go ahead and spend it. They're going to pick and pack and ship your products, handle the customer service, handle the customer returns. It's a great model to work with. And I'm sure you guys know that Amazon is just crushing it, right? Their prime memberships have created tons of loyal customers that continue to come back to the site and buy more. Your neighbors are buying from Amazon. Your coworkers are buying from Amazon. And as a seller, you can tap into this market of buyers and combine that with FBA, right? So what's the result of all this? Financial freedom with less work and more time. It's a no brainer guys. And this is what I'm going to teach you in the webinar training today. So we're about to get into the training in a couple of more slides, but I did want to show you a couple of these examples, um, a few of these examples, as a matter of fact, of previous students of mine, as well as what others have said about my free training, as well as my paid trainings. So as you can see, guys, there's tons of results. There's tons of great comments of some of even the free stuff that I've given out, which is why these webinars are so valuable for people and why I've always considered selling them. But 
I don't need to sell this stuff. I, do, I really don't need to sell this webinar. If you take this and you go ahead and you start making money, you know, this month, that makes me feel real good. Quite frankly, fulfillment for me nowadays, after, you know, making uh, and being able to make all this money on Amazon, fulfillment to me now means helping other people. Okay. And so the stuff simply works. Um, and it works because, you know, I, I don't just teach the stuff. It's because I'm actually still doing this business nine years in. So I know it's working now on the Amazon marketplace. So look, here's Lena. Lena took me by surprise. She was in my, uh, she's in my private Facebook group, FBA Profit Factory Entrepreneurs. Out of nowhere, she wrote this amazing um, recommendation, amazing success story that I didn't even know happened. And I, I actually I wonder sometimes, so who, what, how are my other students doing that I don't hear from? You know, are they, you know, have they smashed records and continue doing crazy other things such as Jason Levy um, in, in one of the previous slides where he's now selling his products to uh, Walmart. So Lena took a simple product that most people would have overlooked and she profited $8,000, $8,000 by doing virtually nothing. And the reason that that happened was because she found a product, again, that people would overlook, sent it out to Amazon FBA and on autopilot, she was able to sell this product and grow her business, okay? So the point here is not to overcomplicate things. Stick with the techniques I'm gonna teach you today and you will see results. So with that said, I do want to also say that results are not typical. I'm going to walk you through the system where, um, we're you, that we're using to see great results, but please also understand that my results are not typical because the average person who attends any free training gets zero results. Why? Because when it's free, most people don't value it enough, okay? And most people do not then implement it or even watch the entire training, which I know that you you're different. If you're already if you're already with me up until this point, I already have a good a, a good understanding that you're going to finish watching the webinar and that you are serious about starting your Amazon business. Okay, so either way, I'm happy to share with you for free exactly what's working for me and my students. So this is not this is not for get rich quick type people, um, work at home business opportunity people. Webinar junkies, if you're a webinar junkie, what are you still doing here? Go ahead and take action. Go ahead, you're watching too many webinars, but you're not taking action. That's what that's telling me, all right? It's also not for la lazy people. So if you fall into any of those categories, please go ahead and just turn the webinar off. You're just gonna waste your time going through this webinar with me. All right, so this is what we're gonna cover, all right? We're gonna get started here. Um, we're gonna cover secret number one, how to find the right product that sells before you invest a ton of time and money. I'm gonna teach you some of the best niches that are crawling with opportunity right now that I've seen over the last couple of years grow. Um, secret number two, how to get started on a small budget and quickly scale your business. So you're gonna learn the steps of how to get started the right way today. Secret number three, how to get sales for your product as soon as it goes on sale and gain quick momentum. Guys, most Amazon sellers don't even do this right. So um, I think I've given you guys more than enough reasons for why selling on Amazon is an opportunity to take advantage of now, right? Not later when this opportunity is no longer there, but right now. But this is gonna be the last piece I'm gonna state about this. Um, Back at the 2016 Women's Entrepreneur Conference in Seattle, Washington, Amazon stated nearly 50% of all products sold on Amazon come from marketplace sellers like you and I. What does that tell you? That tells you that, tells you that Amazon needs us. We're an, we're an important piece um, of their business, okay? So they want to um, help us succeed and they've put out more programs to make sure that you know they're making their platform as user friendly as possible okay so go ahead we're, we're we're about to get started get your notepad ready take a breather we're about to dive into the training right now and here we go so a, the ideal product to sell on amazon is a private label item all right, so if you don't know what a private label item is, it's basically an item, um, a private label item is simple. You're, you're, you're placing your logo on a product 
that is already being produced by a manufacturing company and you sell it under your own brand name. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to take a sip of water in a second here already. Um, so it's a lot easier to do than what most people think. And again, remember, you do not want to overcomplicate things for yourself here, okay? There are thousands of companies that want um, that will offer you their product to sell under your own brand name. And so why is the private label item an ideal product to sell on Amazon? Very simple. Private label products equal more profits in your pocket. You no longer have to buy from a middle person or a distributor and watch your products dwindle away, nor do you have to worry about competitors selling your product because you're able to regulate who you want to sell to since it's your brand. There's absolutely no reason to work hard selling other people's products and help make someone else rich. Wouldn't you agree? Why work so hard at your job just to make other people rich. If you do that for yourself, then you 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 add to and, and grow to your wealth. Okay, so it makes sense. Now, I'm gonna immediately dive into telling you what's the biggest rookie mistake um, because I I want you to avoid this mistake at all costs. And I've seen people teach this, and it gets under my skin. I got to tell you. Um, so I wanted to bring this up to you right now. So the biggest rookie mistake is private labeling an item that is being, uh, that is featured on the Amazon top 100 list. So what's that? So, um, what a lot of sellers do is they'll go to Amazon and within all the categories that Amazon has, they'll, they'll click within there. And then Amazon will tell you what are the top 100 items selling in that category, right? So what happens is most people see something selling really well and feasibly they think they can get a piece of the profits by selling the same item under their own brand name, right? So if you have been taught to do this, then drop this technique right now, please. Why in the world would you want to climb an uphill battle with a pool of competitors right behind you, all right? Pro sellers are uh, who are making serious profits are not doing this, I can promise you that. So. If it's in the Amazon top 100 list in the category in its respective category, I don't want you to go and private label an item that you see on this list because you're bringing a massive amount a massive amount of um, competitors to you. Okay, so the best private label item to sell um, it, it are items that are not currently being sold on the Amazon marketplace, and this is exactly what allows you to make serious serious profit. Okay. Um, and I am good testament to that because most of my products now, um, I, I produce, I, you know, you don't see them selling on Amazon at all. I bring them to the marketplace and now I'm increasing my profit margins. Okay. So don't sell anything on the Amazon top 100 list. So I'm going to help you out here. And this is us going to, this is us getting ready to dive into, um, secret number one, but it's important to know what niches are underserved and are primed for growth, being on the forefront and getting in while the time is right. So this is the start to finding the right product to sell on Amazon. And I'm going to give you that head start today. So secret number one, how to find the right product that sells before you invest a ton of time and money. I'll tell you the best niches, um, that are crawling with opportunity right now. So how do you know what people want to buy? All right. I'm going to tell you a very, very simple trick that has helped me come up with products that people are, people are clamoring to buy. All right. You ready to hear this? Because I mean, it's so simple again, no need to overcomplicate this. Here we go. Join niche Facebook groups and discover what people are most interested in purchasing. Let them tell you what they want to buy. Read conversation, uh, conversations and niche groups that interest you. So you want to be able to take notes and come up with items based on what you see people talking about in these groups. Then what you do is you go ahead and you test them out in small batches on Amazon. So, so here's an example. If I was interested in selling soap or bath items, what, what am I going to do to get that customer research that I don't have right now? Because I, let's say I've never sold on Amazon. Um, and you know, I only have an idea 
of maybe a niche that I'm interested in getting into, then I'm going to go ahead and check out on Facebook where these communities, where these groups of people are convening to talk about this niche that I'm looking to sell into. It's a very simple hack that most sellers do not use. And this is what's going to get you ahead of all the other sellers. This, this one simple trick, guys, honestly, take my advice on this. If this is all you take away from the training, by the way, then you've learned more than what most programs out there um, that are that are paid trainings offer, okay? So this is gonna help you gauge in real time what people are most interested in buying and where um, and where most people you know purchase their products they purchase the, they purchase them on Amazon and that's where you're then gonna have your item for sale. You see how that works? You find out what they're interested in buying in these groups. You put an item together or package together. You place it on Amazon where most people, anyways, are going to buy are going to buy their products. So that takes me to, um, you know, one very hot niche area that I want you to look into. And I'm, again, I'm giving you a head start that the DIY, the do-it-yourself product packages are a hot selling area right now on Amazon. So here's an example, a, li- a real example of a product selling on Amazon that encompasses this DIY niche um, product packaging that I'm referencing here. If you have a hobby or if you know how to create something um, that other people have told you that they want to learn, then this can be a really profitable avenue for you. So in this example, we see, you know, how to make uh, dog collars, right? So there's a, there's a, there's an ebook or some sort of a pamphlet involved in this particular private label package. And, you know, they, along with this, this particular pamphlet, they also teach you how to go ahead and make these colors with the products that they're selling. Um, it's one of the best ways to use your current knowledge uh, to turn into profitable e-commerce items. So if you're struggling right now to know where to even get started, start with stuff that you already know, okay? People love doing social things with their friends. They also love learning. And most people are going to the internet to learn new things. So these DIY packages offer value and enrichment in their lives, and that's why they work so well, right? How many times have you gone to the internet to look up something to do or to look up information on something, right? So this is a great way of turning kind of the knowledge-based info area into a profitable e-commerce item for you, physical product item for you on Amazon. All right, let's look at another niche area that I want you to take a look at, and that's the um, artisanal grocery items area. So I became aware of this opportunity last year when I opened up, or last year, now it's actually been two years, excuse me, since uh, when I opened up my second Amazon store, all right? I featured a grocery item in that store, which till this day I still have, and I started noticing some crazy stuff because I've never had a grocery item, Um, but this was an item where People, you know, you can't you can't find this item in stores. By the way, um, people were buying this product, consuming this item. Once they finished it and, and and they knew they loved it, they would come back to my Amazon store and buy more. I mean, any model that introduces repeat buyers and can add con- continuity programs um, and sales is a good business to be in. So, you know, here's a, an actual item again you know, selling on Amazon, exactly of what I'm talking about here. So have you noticed that people now, nowadays, they love buying unique small brand grocery items, right? Um, They love hearing about people's stories. They love trying out new foods that are not, you know, from mainstream names. And then on top of that, they're also loving more made in USA items. So this is a good area to look into for selling on Amazon Um, Since it's not an overly saturated market and it also provides room for you to, you know, differentiate yourself from other sellers. I mean, talk about having a consumable, a consumable item that people that where you're going to have repeat buyers and that you're going to be able to differentiate yourself right off of the bat. So this slide sort of snuck itself in there, quite frankly, but um, I'm okay with that. (laughs) Um, And I hope you're okay with that. But this is... um, a simple Google search that you can use to help yourself find a private label item for, you know, a manufacturing company 
for grocery type of pro uh, products, you know, that you intend to sell. It's, it's really that simple, guys. I mean, seriously, I've been saying this all along so far in this training, but please do not overcomplicate things. People tend to overcomplicate things in their mind. Just follow along with this training. So is everyone getting excited? I mean, seriously, we've just narrowed down winning product selections by a whole lot. And I've already told you where to go and, and get some customer research so that you can have an idea as to whether your, pro your, your product um, is going to have some sort of demand so that it can sell and profit, you know, make some profit for you on Amazon. So I hope you're already buzzing with ideas on the private label item that you're about to sell on Amazon. So now let's talk about you know, where do we go to find products that we can private label and resell? Now, outside of grocery items that I just showed you in the last slide there, I'm going to show you where to go ahead and look for products. And this is going to take us to secret number two. So how to get started on a small budget and quickly scale your business. Learn the steps on how you can get started the right way. And here we go. This is not completely brand new to a lot of folks, okay? If you've been around in the Amazon um, seller forums and whatnot. You've heard of, of, of AliExpress and Alibaba. This is not brand new stuff, right? What I'm teaching you is how to use these sites in the proper manner. And the proper manner is not to just go ahead and find a product and then go ahead and flip it on Amazon because that's not going to work. A lot of people used to do that, you know, years ago and years ago, that was an opportunity. That's not the opportunity now. Okay. Um, so here, here's the main reason why, why most Amazon sellers use the, AliExpress or the parent company Alibaba, you can find products for a very low cost on these sites. And when you're just starting off, these websites are going to be very useful to you. These sites help connect manufacturers and suppliers um, in, in overseas countries such as China to, to help you, you know, um, purchase products here in the States. So I personally found my suppliers from many, um, from AliExpress and Alibaba many years ago. Um, I've since now gone to China a few times over the last three years. I've met the majority of my suppliers now. Um, and it continues to be where I get about 95% of my products, okay? I, I get them um, made and done overseas in China. So let's go ahead and let's take a look again at that deluxe collar kit example, right? So if you take apart this package, you will clearly see that it's made up out of, of three small generic items. I mean, seriously, look closely at this picture. Take away the branding of the beautiful packaging, take away the ebook that they have in the picture there, and you're really looking at three generic uh, buckle type of items. So these items, you can easily find them on AliExpress or Alibaba, and you can buy them in bulk for very cheap after negotiating with your supplier on Alibaba or AliExpress. So this is just a quick screenshot um, from when I just did a basic search on the site using the keywords buckles. I mean, it's really, um, it's really, uh, you know, not brain surgery to do this, guys. It's really not. The hardest part in doing all this is to actually do it, okay? So you can easily see that this is one piece of the buckles. Now, had I, had I continued doing more of a search, I could have found the other ones, or what I could have done is, you know, directly email the vendor who's selling this particular buckle and said, hey, do you have these other two buckles or can you find these other two buckles for me, right? Um, and so so it's just, you know, th this is a similar example of what I found in the dog collar kit. I will tell you guys, please don't um, create a package similar to what I just showed you because a lot of people are on this uh, webinar training today and, you know, a lot of people are going to be seeing this in the replay as well. And I will tell you, beyond a doubt that a lot of people are going to jump on that bandwagon and they're going to try to they're going to try to create their own dog collar kit and start selling them on Amazon. I can promise you that because it happens time and time again no matter what I say. So, all right. So, if you're buying in large quantities, you know, you can always ask your vendor for a better price point and that's really what's going to what's going to produce the higher profit margins for you when you go ahead and place your products on Amazon. Now, let's talk about how do you grow your business from finding one winning product? So let's just say, you know, you found that dog collar kit and it's working well. Actually, you know what? I think I actually have another example for you coming up. So we'll put the dog collar kit to pass right now, to bed right now. So you grow your business with complementary products, 
All right, so we test products in small quantity batches, and then we go ahead and introduce complementary items to the winning products, and then we scale them up. Now, after you test out the products in small batches, which I show you in my FBA Profit Factory course, you then take the winning products and introduce products that complement uh, these items. It's the fast way to scale. Um, it's one of the fastest way to grow your business, guys. Um, you know, you already found people who want to purchase your item. So now it's a matter of what else within the same niche do they want to buy from you? So here's an example of what I mean, okay? Here's someone selling a beginner's candle making kit. They, you know, they may have, you know, some experience in this area and they decide to put a kit together on Amazon. Now, if you look closely again, these are not necessarily new inventions, right? You don't need to invent something uh, brand new to sell your own product, uh, your private label product on Amazon, guys. You, you don't. You can already use what's being manufactured by, by big companies and then you put your branding or, or your label, your logo on it. So let's say you go ahead and, and you have this candle making kit set up and you found that, hey, this is selling really well. People are buying it. Great. How do we go ahead and, and, and we scale up? Well, we go ahead and we introduce complementary items. All right. You grow your business laterally. All right. These are products that if they're interested in your, in your candle making kit, maybe they want to replenish some of the items that you had in there. So then you, you allow them to do that by introducing these new products in your Amazon storefront. So this uh, produces additional sales for you. It also increases your cart purchase amount. So now you're, you know, you brand the successful, this successful line, and then you continue scaling this line. All right, guys, this is how you do it. This is how you make money on Amazon. This is what I've been doing um, for all these years on Amazon. So let's talk about private labeling in a nutshell, because a lot of you guys, you know, I know might be scared just listening to the word private label, right? Or the words private label. Um, a lot of people get freaked out. Uh, how do you do that? What it, guys, very simple. And, it, it, and again, in a nutshell, you come up with a simple name and a product logo. You can do that on a website such as fiverr.com or any other type of similar website. It's the easiest place to get it done though. Um, you have your vendor put the logo on your product. They do that now these days. You know, most of the vendors on AliExpress and Alibaba are well aware that people are doing this, so they have services to offer to you to put your logo on, on these products. You have your vendor package the item for you so it's ready for sale, ready to go, and then you upload your product to the Amazon catalog and you send it to their FBA warehouse. So here's an example, here's a quick screenshot of, you know, someone on Fiverr who offers these you know, design product packaging designs, um, you know, for starting at 10 bucks for a basic design, it doesn't cost a lot of money. All right. So you do that. So now, now what? Great. You have your product, you found your product, right? You, you got a nice, you know, product packaging design made on Fiverr. Next thing to do is to go ahead and put your product for sale on Amazon. Now, since this is a new private label product, this is your product. You need to add it to Amazon's catalog. So there's no page for it yet because it's your brand new private label product. So you go ahead, you go and upload it to Amazon's catalog. You enter all the appropriate information on the back end of Amazon. What's the title of your product? You know, how much do you want to price it for? What's included in this product? You enter all that good stuff. Next thing that you need to do is you need to optimize um, your product listing. So once your product is on Amazon, you want to make sure that you optimize your sales page and your images. So this is where customers will be seeing your product and deciding on whether they should purchase it. So let's go over some best practices, some best practices for this. Okay. So first off, you have to take pictures um, that sell your product. You have to write really good sales copy that talks about the benefits of your product, not just the features. And then you use keywords, to start getting your product ranked for important, important customer search terms. Now we're not going to talk about keywords today and going, uh, that's a really more of an intensive training. But again, I do talk about that, that stuff. And I do bring a special guest, um, into the FBA profit factory course, um, that you can get later on if you'd like. Okay. So let's look at pictures and I'm going to, as we're looking at that, I'm going to take a quick gulp of this water. There we go. 
All right, so when you are first taking pictures of your new Amazon private label product, right, you wanna take pictures where you're using a white background, all right? That's actually one of the requirements of uploading a picture, um, the main picture on Amazon. The next best practice is you wanna use real pictures of your products when possible, not the computer generated images. A lot of people are doing these 3D images type of stuff. Now that does have, this does have ex, um, um, exceptions. So in certain industries such as the health and beauty and supplements, computer generated 3D images are a common standard and that's okay. Then you go ahead and you do that. So make sure the main image shows the entire product being sold. You wanna show the product in use whenever possible, right? So if it's a dog leash, you know, maybe you have a person who is actually outside running with this dog leash on their dog, all right? So it just, it, you know, it, it helps get the customer um, to relate to the product that you're trying to sell to them. Um, take close-up pictures and add dimension specifics to the product if necessary. So if you need to say how long this particular product is, what the length is, you can go ahead and include all those in your product pictures. And then add as many pictures as possible, you know? Um, people are looking at your product on Amazon on their, on their computers. They're not able to touch and feel this product. The more pictures that you're able to show on your product page, the better they're gonna be able to, to decide on whether they should buy this product or not. Next up, you need to write a product description that sells. So let's go over best practices of how to do that. Guys, we are absolutely killing it here, okay? You're literally getting a ton of free information from me on this webinar right now. All right, so I, I wanna make sure that you go ahead and you go out and, and you really implement this stuff, okay? Because I'm spending my time to put this training together for you of free information because I, I wanna make sure that you get started with this. All right, so let's talk about writing a product description that sells. We're presenting product features alongside their relevant consumer benefits. Sometimes people just say, look, this is made of this material, okay? What does that mean to me? You know, if I'm a customer looking at your, your product description, what does that mean to me? Oh, it's made of this material because it's, it's waterproof, it's better at the outdoors. You know, sell your product with benefits. Speak in the language of your target audience. If you're selling a product to teenagers, um, you know, that, that appeal to teenagers, like those phone cases with like cool designs or whatever, you know, talk in their language basically, okay? I'm not gonna go too, too far in that. Sell the fantasy. So frame a picture in the, cons uh, the consumer's mind of how this product can be relatable to them and enrich their lifestyle. Reference the problem that you are trying to solve with your product. So for example, extra virgin olive oil. There's a lot of fraudulent extra virgin olive oil on the market today. Reference that problem. Why is yours not fraudulent? You know, something like that. You're, you're trying to sell your product on, this, um, on, on your Amazon page. So the best sales copy comes from understanding the results, excuse me, the needs of your target audience. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go into now secret number three. How to get sales for your product as soon as it goes on sale and gain quick momentum. So most Amazon sellers do this dead wrong. Okay, so I'm going to give you two ways to do this so that you can go ahead and smash it. So here's the first way. Remember when we discussed, remember when I discussed how to create a product that people want to purchase? All right, so guess what? We're going to go back now into these groups and we're going to offer them our product. It makes sense, doesn't it? So you're gonna find that community of people on Facebook that would be excited to try out your product. So again, here we go. Let's say I'm interested in the soap making bath niche area. I'm gonna go back into these groups, I'm gonna find them on Facebook and I'm gonna mention my product in there. So this is gonna be a great way to generate buzz and also get feedback on a product before you, know, you have to go and produce a ton of it. This is, this is what, what you do to validate your product choice, guys. Okay, you don't have to go out and spend, you know, $5,000 testing an item that you have in your head that you think is gonna sell. Why would you do that, right? Don't go all in like that. We need to test the proposition first. And this is a really great way to test the proposition and validate our product choice. 
And on top of that, you're going to get just, I mean, you're going to get tons of great feedback from people who may actually want to buy your product once you have more available. So let me give you the second way. Okay. We're going to drive traffic to your product using Amazon sponsored ads. So you can pay Amazon to put your product in front of people. Paid traffic is a great way to scale your business. Okay. So if you've ever, you know, seen these ads on the right hand side, or you might have not even noticed that these are ads, you know, when you get on Amazon and you start searching for a product that you want to, you want to buy, you'll notice sometimes on the right hand side, sometimes it's at the lower bottom of the page. Sometimes, sometimes it's in, in a whole nother placement on the, on the page, but these are actually sellers who are paying to, for you, uh, for Amazon to bump up their product with for specific keywords that you know you are using to search for these products so that they can be right in front of your eyeballs because guess what you get sales if if people can find your product and it's a good product then pe- you know you can get sales so this is what we covered in this training we covered secret number 1 right how to find the right product to sell uh, before you invest a ton of time and money secret 2 how to get started on a small budget and quickly scale your business. Secret number three, how to get sales for your product as soon as it goes on sale and gain quick momentum. Guys, we covered a crap load. We covered a lot in this very basic training. And I say basic because this is what I would consider your roadmap for success on Amazon. 